Hello everyone, and welcome to the final episode of Shin Megami Tensei 5. It's been quite the journey to reach this point, but we're finally ready to challenge the game's ultimate foe, the Demi Fiend. And what can I say other than... Yeah, he's hard. So hard, in fact, he uh, definitely earns the title of ultimate boss, but getting ready to challenge him has been a lot of fun, a lot of trial and error, but I do believe I've assembled the best demon party we can make. And what can I say other than it's finally time to end this thing. So starting things off, uh, I just gotta say, yeah, if you're really trying to get more out of SMT5, I do recommend doing this because this added a lot of time to my save file, but this is the demon composition I've settled on. I've checked out multiple players' perspectives and strategies and really just assembled what I think is the best demon party for me and, well, our physical build. The entire game I've been stressing, man, physical so good, it ramps up so well once you get Murakumo, but this is the one time I will admit I was wrong. In this particular fight, having a magic build and having multiple ways to do elemental damage, it really will help you out. It's not to say it's impossible to do with a strength build, it's just uh, there's a lot of room for error, but in case you've never seen any of the past videos, our general strategy is to set up with critical aura, then apply a Murakumo for a guaranteed hit and a crit, and thanks to, well, critical zealot, we do additional damage when our attacks are a crit, they're always going to be a crit, thanks to critical aura. That's pretty much the general plan. As far as that goes, we still do have some passives here. Abyssal Mask and Enduring Soul are essential for this battle. I cannot stress it enough. Simply put, there is a status effect that will be inflicted in this fight, and it's an instant kill. Also, some attacks can just crit, and they can kill you because they will go over your HP. Enduring Soul just guarantees that, yeah, you have another shot in case your main character dies. Also, we have Great Life Spring. Obviously, if the main character falls in battle, all the demons go with him. So I added this to my main character because one, we didn't really have a great like eighth skill to add. And there were instances where a skill would crit and they would just do way more damage than I expected and had a way to mitigate. So this just ensures, hey, we always have a chance to fight back. For our essence, for my Nahobino, I decided to actually summon a Mother Harlot and gain her essence because Repel Physical is very important in this battle. There's going to be a lot of physical attacks and we need some way to mitigate those, especially on our main character. I've also played the game multiple times and have used all of my bombs, specifically my strength bombs, agility bombs, vitality. You need a lot of those. And I have more or less completed the Mimon side quest and gotten all the rewards from there twice. It's uh, yeah, this takes a lot of farming and a lot of item gathering, but onto my demon team, as you can see, I got a lot of demons here. Uh, only a few of these I'll bring into the fight, but more or less we have two demons that are always going to be here and then a flex slot, which is our fourth slot. Starting things off, we have Lady Nuwa with the Sacrifice of Clay unique attack. I have just so much to say about this demon. First and foremost, I love her. She's so great, oh my gosh. But also, Sacrifice of Clay combined with the Safeguard passive skill is like the namesake suggests, insanely safe. There is a foe in this fight that flat out nullifies force damage, but our goal is to not actually de like worry about him. Even if that skill is nullified, the debuff will still remain, meaning it is very easy to get Sacrifice of Clay off two times in a fight and ensure that our foes are always debuffed with attack and defense. Agility doesn't really matter too much, so yeah, there's no really reason to spam debilitate or similar skills. If you just got Nuwa, do New Game Plus. It's just that easy. We uh, have some passives to boost her damage. Also, Abyssal Mask. Can't go wrong with that. Null Fire, but also we have her innate skill, Drain Physical. This is yet again another skill to stop those physical attacks. Moving on to our team's support and healer, we have Aiden. There's no way around it. She is the best healer in the game. It's not even up for debate. Golden Apple lets you full heal most of the time. And also get your buffs up with just one skill. Especially in this fight where skill usage is very tight, you cannot go wrong with Aiden. She's also a low level demon, which if you get her to level 99, it's it's not even that hard to get 140 magic on her. I don't even think I used a magic incense at all, so. We also inherited Killing Wind here to help out with some of the damage on the main foe. There's lots of resistances in this fight, so Killing Wind, 
just helps us get where we need to go. I do not have a normal Force Fleroma, that's totally fine. She has Drain Physical, Null Luck to cover her weakness, and Great Mana Spring, just so she can get out as many Golden Apples and Killing Winds without having to burn into our item usage. Next, our flex slot is not just Beelzebub, but many demons. This is uh, a demon you're not going to see a lot of in the fight, but he's very essential. A very homogenous uh, demon yet again. Pretty much our entire squad is just going to use one skill that is super boosted with like seven passives. That's just the name of the game. Unlike the other demons though, Beelzebub only has resist physical. This is because if everyone on your team blocks physical attacks, the boss will instant kill you with his signature attack. We don't want that. So instead, we have a resist physical on all the flex demons, so we're totally fine. This also ensures that the main boss here will only go for the flex demon, meaning the damage output is very manageable. Now we just have to worry about actually doing damage to the other targets in the fight. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about him. It's a shame we don't really get to use death flies here, but uh, yeah, Mudo Baryon's pretty good too, so. That's not awful. The other two flex demons we have are Zeus, who... <sighs> yeah, look at him stats, dude. <laughs> a majority of my incense farming actually went to Zeus because he's more or less a electric counterpart to our main character. But instead of using Murakumo, he uses his skill Kernunos, which pierces all affinities and does strength-based electric damage. On top of that, he's more or less just our tank with 119 vitality and nearly capped HP. He's not going anywhere, not without a fight. His uh, resistances could be better, but I truly do believe that this is the best demon for this fight. Uh, pretty much, we just set up with critical gems since we do not have critical aura, we just don't simply have room for it, and continue to spam Kernanos for additional turns. We do have Null Force because yeah, he does have that weakness and resist physical for the same reason we had it on Beelzebub. And our last flex demon is Pretty much my personal uh, touch to this encounter. Many of these demons, uh, shout out to Omega Evolution on YouTube, and just in general, a lot of people are using the same strategy of bringing Aiden. Amon is my take on this fight. Uh, at 50% of the boss's HP, he will use a skill called Madea Rahan, which if you know what it does in the main game, yeah, it functions identically for the boss. The heal, just makes the fight go on for way too long. It's too stressful on our items. So I've decided to bring Amon, who has Megiddo Flame, which pierces all foes' affinities, meaning this severe fire attack will hit everything on the field and hit the primary boss for max damage. We have Safeguard for the same reason we had it on Nuwa. He's prone to miss, doesn't have the best agility, and has boosts for his high fire fleroma and normal fire fleroma. Also great mana spring, because God, Megiddo Flame really... It takes up a lot of mana. It doesn't look like it, but you'd be surprised. Additionally, some foes in this battle are weak to fire, so he's there to mop them up and just really push us over that like 50% mark so he doesn't use Medea Rahan and the fight doesn't go on forever. So, yeah, that's pretty much all of our demons. Uh, He does have the innate ability to resist physical too, so that frees up a slot, which I decided Great Mana Spring was a good fit. And with that, I think I've gone over everything we need to talk about. Oh no, I didn't, because we have one ace in the hole. To prevent the 50% mark skill from going off in the first place, you will need one avian demon. This demon will not actually fight in the battle. We're simply putting him in the party to get the race transcendence uh, skill for our main character. We scroll down real quick. We'll see a cursed poison prioritizes uh, the strongest ailments, which in this instance would be the sealing effect. It'll seal Medea Rahan at the 50% mark, so we don't have to see that skill. You could do this fight theoretically without an avian demon, but trust me, it's a lot more manageable with this. You just kind of basically do a coin flip. Come on, it's just, just flipping a coin, guessing heads or tails, right? It's not that bad, but yeah, there's a little bit of RNG to this fight to say the very least. But with that, I think we've covered everything. Our demons are all full HP, full MP. We have every like healing item in the world. Uh, farming for this took a very long time simply to get like the sheer amount of incenses you will need. So a lot of running to Odaiba with uh, Huapo, basically. And the sutras weren't so bad because you get those from Mimon quests. But with that taken care of, we are finally ready. Let's go all the way down to this last option and enter. Hall of Chaos, and man, 
As far as fan service fights go, this one's pretty darn good. I, uh, oh god, I got a lot to say. I hope we're ready. I think I can do this. I sure hope so, but in case you're curious, there's some items waiting up ahead in case you're lacking any of those, like bee chains, somas, all that stuff, but we're already capped on that. It's taken a while to get here. We're finally ready. There he is. When you face the demi fiend. No, I just came here to say hi. We're ready. Let's go. Oh, wow! And that Albino really did make it all the way here, huh? Here we go, our final fight against the protagonist of SMT3, Demi Fiend, and he's not alone. At the start of the fight, he will summon his own three demons and go for Javelin Rain, a physical attack which can inflict the seal status. And if that hits any of your demons, you might as well reset. The turn count is just that tight. Now to get as much damage on the board ASAP, we need to immediately use our Omogatsuki skill at the start and start using Sacrifice of Clay to get some debuffs on the field. This fight has many mechanics. The first being every six actions the Demi Fiend performs, he will have a counter. If he then reaches seven actions without a demon being killed on his side of the field, he will use Guy Rage, a skill that pierces everything, will most likely one-shot every demon you have, and yeah, it's pretty much a game ender. So. We need to ensure we can kill a demon in seven of his actions. It's tight. It's a really tight window. So, the first demon that has to go here is Pixie, who is weak to darkness damage, which is why we have Beelzebub. To make things short, she can heal the Demi Fiend for 8,000 HP at minimum, and also cast Luster Candy, which is not nice to get. Having uh, the chance to miss Demi Fiend in this fight is very, very difficult. And if things weren't bad enough, yeah, Demi Fiend resists all forms of damage, except Almighty. So you either need piercing skills, Impaler's Animus, or something similar. I'm also going to set up for our next turn by somewhat damaging Giri Mikala here. So, uh, yeah, this uh, fight, a lot of execution. It's really, really rough. We lucked out there and actually did more damage than I planned. So we can safely go into Zeus now, which is our primary attacker. But yes, ASAP. Get Pixie off the field. And now we set up for the future turns. The agility there on Zeus, not ideal. We'd prefer uh, defense, but now the counter will reset as he summons Cerberus, weak to ice, which we do not have, but it should not matter. We got hit, we got hit with seal. Crap, and uh, here comes the debilitate. That's not bad, but his next skill could be absolutely devastating. Every turn he summons a new demon, he will go for Fry Google, just a 20% chance to, cr he got it. He got the 20%. He also hit us with seal. Uh, this is the RNG I'm talking about. So, uh, okay, how do we get around this? Well, first and foremost, sacrifice some clay. Uh, this is why Nuwa is just so good here. Pretty much no matter what, you should go for that. And we could potentially use an item to set up for our next turns. So that's fine. We're also going to be using Golden Apple a ton. So Idun's, I hope her eyes going to be okay after, you know, uh, <laughs> I guess winking that much. We can, how do I want to go about this? Because I do want to set up for our next Magatsuki turn. If I think using the Critical Gem is fine here, then we use an Emerita Soda on Zeus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll work out. And then we should be fine. We'll get an additional turn from Nuwa striking Yuri Mikala's weakness. And then what do we do after that? We really need to set up and actually focus down Cerberus a little bit. Because since we have no ice skills, like either me or Zeus has to actually inflict some damage. 
We could also just do Killing Wind. We're not in that bad of shape. Yeah, we're full HP. This is fine. Every point of damage matters in this fight. But I think we have a good tempo. We're not actually in a bad spot yet. That can soon change. We're getting to, I think, turn six or seven. Two Deadly Furies coming out. Normally, this skill would crit, but because we... Okay, we dodged that. Thank God. Because we resist physical attacks on Zeus, we're totally safe. He cannot crit us at all. And he does not have a Magasuhi turn of his own, so no fear there. Unfortunately, we did get hit with that f fog debuff, which means we could accidentally hit the wrong target. That's not great. Uh, we also missed. Oh my god, this is going terrible. Okay, not my strongest start, I will admit. But I'm adamant I can save this. Let's just uh, heal up a little bit. Healing Zeus every turn is very important. Ah, dang it, yeah. Sorry, Zeus, you gotta get on item duty again. Toss me a soda, brother. All right, there you go. <laughs> We're going to get our Magasuhi turn next turn, which would be pretty nice to have the charge effect, but I don't think that's realistic. And also next turn, Giri is gonna die. What do I do? Crud, I think, I think I honestly skip Idun. Go for the guaranteed hit on the Murakumo. Did 4k, that's fine. Uh, then I, uh, I really wanted to get both, but what can you do? Let's get a charge gem now on Zeus. So next turn we can pop our Omagatsuki critical and do pretty much max damage because we're getting the amplifier from Critical Zealot and the charge. Meaning, yeah, we're gonna do a lot of damage. Hopefully to Demi Fiend, but let's see if any nasty status effects coming out. We've gotta get hit with poison. Poison, it's not awful. It's just kind of an annoyance. Let's see what, uh, stop with the Fogna, bro. Okay, okay, uh, knew I'd get hit by it. Which does lower her accuracy, but I still think I'm going to, I'm gonna risk it. We, we're really falling behind in damage because of these status effects. She can't hit us, and this does hit everybody. So we just gotta really hope and pray this does hit Giri Mikola. And it didn't, no, 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 that's fine. I mean, it's not the end of the world. At least it hit a couple of people. Let's um boost ourselves once again with Golden Apple. So now we're plus two, and Demi Fiend is negative two, meaning our Murakumo is going to hit really hard here. But also, Kurnanos is going to do a ton of damage, probably upwards to like 6,000. We can't risk it, we have to hit Demi Fiend here. Oh man, this feels good. Yeah, okay, not as much damage as I was hoping, but that's fine. 4,000's good. Sacrifice of Clay, really? Uh, we didn't kick Yuri Mikala. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I shouldn't have been so... We, uh, yeah, we, we can just save it. Killing win, knock him out. Now his timer will reset. Let's go for... Uh, we actually really need to start focusing down. No, 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 come on! Cerberus somehow dodged. I mean, I guess he's got four legs. He's pretty agile, whatever. Up next to replace Giri Mikala is Thor. He loves to spam Makajom. He does have Hell Thrust, which can piece our ability to repel physical. But outside of that, he's probably just going to spam Megidolon. Another Fry Kugel. I don't think any of us are low enough to be killed by that, which is fine. But coming up very soon, we do have to be careful. Oh, dang, that's good. A little, <laughs> a little late, but that's fine. He's going for his skill we've yet to see, which is Chaotic Will. This is the status effect that can kill you instantly. Uh, we do have Abyssal Mask for this reason, but it is still something that can potentially happen. Additionally, we also are running low on our turn count. We need to kill Cerberus, like, soon. Not immediately, because, you know, Thor just came in, but uh, it has to happen at some point. We're going to hope... I just gotta hope and pray that his uh, fog debuff eventually goes away. Critical gem coming out. We'll have a chance to use one more. Um, Magatsuhi turn, if memory serves me right. No, we won't have that. Crud. Now we have to start saving, because he's going to go for um, Chaotic Will, and that'll reduce. Crap. Okay, this is bad. She's just killing one on Cerberus. I'm, uh... Oh, we didn't get a lot of Magatsuhi turn this turn. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Deadly Fury still coming out, giving us an ever so small increase to our gauge there. And we're still tanking these Megidolons. I, uh... Okay, we lucked out. He didn't go for Tentarafu. That is also really obnoxious effect. That, uh... Man, because you can hit your, like, other allies, and then you lose all your turns, because those allies probably fully absorb or repel physical attacks, so that's not good. Our Idun's really running low on MP, but we should be able to, in theory, finish off Cerberus this turn. If not, I, st I still think we have, like, a little more leeway there. He's not gone for Chaotic Will yet. That has to be coming up this next turn here, but Smurakumo cannot miss. I do not know if it will kill. It did not. Hopefully, Sacrifice of Clay will do the job. Uh, I can't risk uh, using the Zeus there. It'll just end up poorly. Um, This is really dicey. Okay. 
Uh, I still do have three turns, though. I have to use one turn at least to get uh, a Soma off on Idun. <laughs> the game really wants me to use this on Zeus. Holy crap. Let's just use that on her. Be healing her MP all the way up. Oh my god. This is awful. Will an unbuffed Murakumo be enough to kill Cerberus? And it can still miss. Oh god. Here we go. I, I normally would never do this. But let's see if just a normal hit of Murakumo will be enough to kill. Yeah, we got it. Okay, that's actually not terrible damage. I'm surprised it did that much. We also healed from the ailment of Fog. Now we can go for this Kurninos. Guaranteed hit on Demifiend. Doing almost 3,000 damage. Holy cow. This is going great. And we have our Magatsuhi gauge finally full. As we bring in the mascot. All right. This is the uh, phase where we're slowly going to have to start transitioning to Amon to burst him past that 50% mark. This is a... Uh, Really, the coin toss. <laughs> there it comes. Chaotic Will. Hopefully, uh, I don't lose too many Enduring Souls here. Our luck stats are all relatively pretty high, thanks to, you know, the prayer skills. And, okay, we all dodged it. Perfect. Sadly, you cannot dodge losing half of your press turns. That's totally fine. We won't really need that many this turn anyway. What I want to do on our main character. Jack Frost is here. I have six actions to knock him out. That should be relatively easy to do with Amon, I think. Start with Sacrifice of Clay. No, we don't have to worry about that. Let's just kill uh, Thor first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's totally fine. All right. Golden Apple. Uh, we technically didn't heal any, but I do need to keep our buffs constantly up, or they will start using Debilitate, and we really just can't outscale that. Critical Aura? I think that's okay. Yeah, let's go for that. We can um swap in a Amon next turn and be totally okay. We're additionally needing to swap out Nuwa for Garuda. Garuda doesn't actually need to attack or anything, so him not having a uh, drain or reflect physical is not the end of the world. Tentarafu's coming, though, and it hit nobody. All right. I've had so many, like, lost runs where that would connect and just ruin everything. Ice Breath here, uh, not deadly. The scariest skill Jack Frost has is easily, uh, you know, his Bafula, which can lower our defense. Jack Bafula, it's a nightmare. Uh, hopefully we don't see it. Uh, I'm in a good spot to now, like, kill Thor. I don't think we need a rush, though. New Waz just... Pumping out so much damage every turn. Even if that skill isn't severe damage, it really feels like it. So I think we're safe then to... Yeah. If I do this, he's still not even close to half. Despite all of our turns, we've barely done any damage to Demi Fiend. It's kind of a problem. I think in that situation, I do need to actually keep Zeus in here for just like one more round. We kill Thor, and then the next demon to come up is Parvati. And Parvati, similar to Pixie, has the ability to heal and set up luster candies. It's, uh, it's rough. No, we killed him too fast. Dang it. Nuwa's just doing too much damage. Uh, let's just use a killing one here. And what do we do on our main character? I don't think we do anything. I think we skip and just use Zeus. No, that's stupid. I'll, uh, I'll just set up critical aura. We should be fine. So the counters reset. We do have to be careful because also Jack Frost does have the ability to use luster candy. Uh, simply put, it's not about the attack boost. It's really about his ability to have his agility boosted. Certain skills, like uh, Critical Aura, you know, the Critical Gems, those are going to hit every time, but everything else can miss, and that just... Then you have the chance of, you know, Sacrifice of Clay not connecting. It's going for Pride Kugel on Zeus, not the end of the world. Did not get the crit. Love it. Love it. Okay. We got good momentum. Nuwa's kind of running low on MP, if I'm being honest. It's a bit of an issue. Using our Omagatsuki uh, Critical here is very tempting, but... There's no way around it. Parvati's got to die. Both of us will guarantee hit and crit this turn. So we're going to use that on Demifiend to try and push him over that threshold. And also, we'll get a second Golden Apple. We lucked out and the AI did not go for a Debilitate. So that's good for us. We need to be very careful here, though. If we go past that last question mark on his HP. Yes, I did count out the exact pixel amount. To make it just so there's no confusion. Once his green HP bar re reaches the last question mark there on the left that's when you know he's around 50% you could also additionally bring a calculator in this fight I, I, I just could not commentate and do that at the same time so I opted against that we uh, we're getting close I can't go to the main character's turn because of our press turn count that stinks oh well guaranteed damage here we're at least also lowering the offense of Parvati I don't think she'll go for any real damaging skills but you never can know uh so a killing wind here? Yeah, I have to. We ha it, this is this is the point of not going back. Either we win or we fail. That Madea Rohan is just that deadly. We will not have enough MP to actually reach the end. Because our attacks cost so much MP. But uh 
I've done it before. It was really close, though. She did not go for heal or luster candy using Megidolon instead. I think Jack Frost. Will, yeah, go for the luster candy. All right, this is not ideal. Not ideal at all. Deadly Fury coming out. He's okay. Okay. How long has Jack been here? I don't know. I think this is our last turn to act. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta go fast. Um, I'm going to skip Nuwa's turn. We're not really getting a lot of benefit out of that. Full heal, everybody. I'm also got the attack increase. We're then going to swap Amon for Zeus. And here comes the burst phase. Either we win or lose. It is uh, really tight, as you'll soon find out. He gets the attack increase, which is really lucky RNG. I hope I did not miscount. Yeah, we're really close here. Oh my god, having having the agility increase is such a pain. To ensure that we can actually pass this threshold, though, I will use a concentrate gem on Amon. And holy crap, this is this is getting really close. I hope we can do this. We'll skip again. Um, yeah, use golden apple, and then critical aura on the main character, and then just pray, pray that I I counted to six, or I guess I didn't count to six. We'll find out soon. It's not Gaia Rage, but it could be his seventh attack as well. I don't think he's missed any. Fatal Sword, all these attacks going to Amon. He can eat him up, no problem. Hikaja, that's not the end of the world. We get debilitated, though. No, we can't get debilitated. Check Bafula on Nuwa. That, that kind of stings, but we'll swap her out so she won't have that debuff on her anymore. Oh, no, we're safe. Okay, okay. Need to calm down a little bit. Deep breath. Her MP is a little low. That's fine, though. We're going to swap Nuwa out for Garuda. We will not be using Accursed Poison on Garuda. Instead, we'll use the Race Transcendent skill on our main character and go from there. If I've done my, if I've done this all correct, I think we win. Because past this phase, it's going to loop back into Giri, Mikala, and Thor, and then we can just round it out. <sighs> Here goes nothing. We're going to max out his defense down. Accursed Poison. It's true Jack Frost is weak to it and we'll get the charm, but we don't actually extend. Now we need to burn everything we got. Make sure Demi Fiend is under half HP. The Accursed Poison will silence him for one to two turns. It's up in the air and is random, but I think we'll do just enough damage. This Megiddo Flame, I think I talked crap about Amon in the past. I totally regret it now. He is made for this fight. Shred the Meteor. Heck yeah. 8,000 damage to Jack Frost. We should totally be able to like come back around and do that. Bring a new uh, back in. Garuda is way too frail for this fight. Let's go. We need the top tier demons we can get. Well, uh, oh god, we're getting a little low on our MP. That's fine. She'll get a defense up. That's great. Golden Apple. Getting even more increase to our attack. We're not going to be able to do much on the Nahobino. But even if this is not crit, we're good. We're really good. So, hit him with that. Hey, 1,000 damage. It might have mattered in the end. And we'll cast another Megiddo Flame. That should, in theory, 100% kill Jack Frost this turn since he got hit with basically three attacks. And, oh my god, this is perfect. We're also really close to knocking out Parvati. I love it. He'll go for Medea Rohan. He will fail! And, well, we didn't actually hit Kukulon with anything. I think, oh my gosh, she tried to go for Medea too. This is perfect. I couldn't ask her better RNG. All right, okay, I could, but whatever. He'll summon Giri Mikala first, then he's going to eventually start to summon another Pixie, bring Beelzebub in. You kind of get the drill by now. Now we're also free to cast Magatsuhi turns just exclusively for damage. Now that we've gotten the Accursed Poison, I don't know how the Crudge is supposed to do this fight if you do not have a uh, Avian Demon by your side. I guess you could also do a Raptor. It's the same effect, but whatever. Amon did his job perfectly. Now Beelzebub is coming in preemptively just to get ready for Pixie. Now it's just the stage of healing up our uh, MP. I could, you know, come to think of it, I actually don't need to do that. Use the Soma on Beelzebub, that is. Instead, we'll use a Concentrate Gem. Um, Nuwa's not looking bad, per se. We'll get more press turns by using Sacrifice Clay here, but now pretty much all of our damage can go exclusively to the Demi Fiend. And once we get Zeus back in the party, you will see just how much damage we can output. Ah, do I do this now? Yeah, I should. Okay. We're going to do that. I can either use Critical Aura on the Demi... No. Yeah. We'll use, we'll use this here. And Nuwa, she can get one more cast of Sacrifice of Clay and be fine. We're going to get extra turns next turn anyways because we're going to be killing Pixie. And this is the fight, guys. 60k HP on Demi Fiend. It's going to take a while. But slowly but surely, we can chip away at that giant HP bar of his. To de uh, that debilitate actually really does suck. He'll recover for his ailment, which means he can fight again. He will use Chaotic Will. No, 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 that's really bad. That means it's basically impossible. 
for me to get back to Beelzebub. Crud. Most of the time I do this fight, he actually uses that. Okay, we all dodge, that's fine. But he uses it while he's actually silenced. This is this is rough, but uh, we're still not we're, we're still not beat. Okay, we can do this. We just have a lot of HP to tear through for Pixie. We'll be all right. Heal up everybody. Um, no, this is actually not the end of the world. All right, we can um <laughs> just going. Oh, we lost. Oh no, we win. But legitimately, we get the guaranteed crit here, and then Peels the Bubble will just pour on the damage with this concentrated Mudo Baryon. Getting close to. Oh yeah, that that did a ton. Not maximized defense is sure, but it's it's okay. What? A I've never seen him do this. Another chaotic will. You gotta be joking. That's just cruel. Can we tank it? Oh, okay. We lost our enduring soul on the MC. We still have the Whittled Goat, which we've never used. Hopefully it doesn't come to that, but uh, yeah, that's rough. Really rough. Zondine coming out. I am weak to that. No! No, 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 no. I think we lose. Another debility. You're kidding me. What are you doing? The AI's never been this cruel to me. Hopefully, Kukulin just goes for a normal physical. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we're, we're fine. <sighs> we gotta kill her this turn. Oh my god. <laughs> Magasui Wolfspring carrying us here. We're gonna use a critical here, not for the damage really, just to ensure we get multiple turns. We did not miss on anybody, which is lovely. <sighs> we have so many press turns though. This bites. Um. It may have been a bad idea to use that there, considering only have two turns, but I think we'll be okay. Oh my god, where's the Dispel Drum? There it is. Even though it, it selects only one person, it does it for the whole party. We cannot have our defenses that low. Murakumo, please do not miss on this pixie. Hit her, hit her, hit her. If we don't get her on this turn, we lose. Because, well, everybody burned through their Enduring Souls, but we got it. Love it. Holy cow. That was close. I've, I've never actually encountered that before. Can you, can you sense how dire this is? This is not this is not easy with live commentary. I'll say that much. I'm pretty sure I've misplayed a ton. Nuwa has no MP. Zeus getting his attack up. That's not really that great. As uh, who's up next? Oh yeah, Cerberus. Okay, we're solid. We're solid. Can you give me a call out. We have tons of force damage to knock him out. Oh my God, are we actually gonna do it? Holy crud! This is uh this is my second attempt on the first try. Uh, because I actually got sealed. I don't know if I want to show that. It's pretty. It's not pretty mad, but whatever. Right, Kugel, don't crit, don't crit. Yes, okay, okay. God, I'm actually so sweaty. Whatever. Um, we need a really big heal. Oh my god. Thank you for plus nine affinity on fours. <laughs> Letting us get one more off. Um, that won't heal full on our main character, but it'll be fine. I mean, he has like actually capped HP, so that's asking for a lot. This is a really good use. Of Asoma, healing 99% of Nuwa's MP in a single round, and now we can just set up to start dealing damage to Demi Fiend. This is, uh, not usually how it goes, but, uh, hey, we're not doing bad. You know, the clay, alright. Getting pretty close to red HP on Giri Mikala. I don't honestly want to risk it, so I will go for the killing win. That didn't kill him? That's fine, okay. Now we just have to worry about Cerberus. We can slowly but surely get off our combo. We're going to have our Magatsuhi turn next turn, so we can start using uh, charge gems on our physical attackers. That'd be really nice. Didn't get... No! No! No, no, no! That's really bad. Dang it. It's whatever. We'll just play with what we're dealt with. The RNG in this fight, there's really no, like, definitive guide, but as you can see, sacrifice of clay and just, you know, spamming Kurunino is pretty darn good. Oh boy. Oh boy. So, Yurimi Kala should die either this turn or next turn. Oh, next turn. That's really good for us. Then, uh, yeah, Golden Apple. Everybody up. We cannot risk, uh, Zeus actually hitting anybody. So another Amrita Soda. <laughs> We're just <laughs> chaining these sodas. I've burned through so many. It's all good, though. It's all good. If our player cards right, we could actually get the Charge Gems off on everybody. So, oh my god, we're actually really far behind, but I did okay damage. Not the end. Ugh, I don't actually want to go for this. I think instead, I'll skip. We'll go for... Uh, I can't get it on both. Dump. That's fine. Killing win on Demi Fiend. 800 damage. Hey, it might have mattered. I've had close calls in the past. And then just charge gem on both? This isn't efficient. But hey. This'll do. It'll do. Like he said. <laughs> so our next Murakumo should hit for a ton. We're in a... Not a terrible spot, actually. We've kind of regained some of our momentum. As you can see, Zeus is just not going anywhere. He's a really great tank. So when you put all your vitality essences into him like I did, he got charmed. He, he got charmed. Okay. Um, 
That's super bad. I think we have to delay our damage for just one more turn. This actually might be a blessing in disguise. You know, I I'm willing to I'm willing to think of it that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I planned this all along. <laughs> no, I did not. But he'll go down, and up next is Thor. Now we just have to worry about actually dealing sufficient damage to Cerberus. So my first Murakumo will definitely be reserved for Demi Fiend, but the second one after that, I think I will actually send towards uh Cerberus there for the crud of the gems. Oh no, I need the healing. <laughs> I already have the gem on. Alright. Soda. Hit him with Zeus. I'm actually surprised we're using more Marita sodas than showers. I'm not upset. Just like it's kinda odd. Uh yeah, charge gem there. Oh my god, we're actually gonna do it. Holy crap. <laughs> I've really been struggling against this guy. Not just in this fight, just in general. He's he's a handful. Uh there'd really be no point in going for this. So instead, just uh killing win on Cerberus. Try and get that damage down. That's barely anything. God dang it. It's fine, we still have like six more actions. I uh think we're in a good spot. It does suck, yeah, you won't get to see um Gaia Rage, but stay tuned, we'll have a another approach to this fight, assuming I'd actually win on this try. You're effing joking. Everyone dodge it. Oh new wall. Okay, no, that's 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 okay, that's okay. I cannot believe I'm getting hit with this many statuses. I have really good luck. And he as I say that crit me. Okay, whatever. Didn't actually amount to much other than uh yeah, so he's getting really, really low. Holy cow. Um, there's no way around it. We have to use this now. It is true she may... She's not gonna miss every target. There's just no way. There's four of them. Oh god, why'd I jinx myself like that? Please hit at least one, Nuwa! You're great and fantastic! Even if you can't aim for crap right now! Oh my effing god. You're joking. That's not even funny, man! I guess that's what I get for using fog. Okay, whatever. It's fine. We're not going to get as many... Mur it's really not fun. But we're not going to get as many Murakumos as I was hoping. But as you can see, during these turns, Demi Fiend eats a lot of damage and we got him in the red. Let's go. Okay. Uh, oh, God. What, what about what about Cerberus? Cerberus is not even close. Oh, no, no, no. I should not have done that. I shouldn't have done that, dude. Crap. This is really, really bad, guys. Um... We may not now have enough damage. You gotta keep in mind, with the physical build, we, we, we take turns to set up. This is all. Oh my God. I think we lose. Yeah, Chaotic Will uh, reduces our turn count, obviously. I miss everybody, sure, but oh my god, this is just awful. Please. I think, I think it comes down to a coin toss. Can we actually... In theory, we could just focus down Thor. Because we have so many Force users. But to do that, Nuwa's gotta, like, snap out of her status this turn. Time is of the essence. Will she? Yes, 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 let's go! Let's effing go! There's still the chance. Let's see, where's his HP at? Oh my god, I don't even know who's... Well, there's no way around it. We have to, we have to hit this. Okay, hit everybody, great. It can work, but man, it's gonna be really close. I, I do out of MP. Oh my god, okay. That's a nightmare. Let me think about this. He did, he did two Deadly Furies, Chaotic Will. I think next turn, that's it. Oh my god. No, we're screwed. We're screwed. We're screwed. Let's just uh, pray for the best, I guess. I don't know. Here goes nothing. Um, We're going to get an additional turn there. And I do. Let's just see what happens, guys. I'm, uh, I'm a little scared, but I've lost count. Crud, is he doing it? No, he didn't. Okay. Next turn. We gotta do our best. Hopefully, we don't take that much damage. If Zeus loses his... Oh my god, you're joking. Please, no, no, no. Okay, everyone dodge it. If Zeus loses his Enduring Soul, it's not a huge deal. We'll all dodge that. God, this is not funny. This is too close for comfort as Zeus decides to get right back up. Because, yeah, he burned to his Enduring Soul. Okay, so we lost two of them. Uh, No way around it. We have to use the uh, Dispel Charm. It's just too much... Just too many debuffs. Hey, there she goes. <laughs> get a little, get a little peek at her smile there. I forgot she's uh, out of MP. God dang it. Okay. Um. This is awful. Let's just go for the guaranteed uh, extra turn. I mean, it's not a guarantee because we miss, but yeah. I think it's too risky to burst him down, especially with no attack buff. I'm gonna change strats, try and finish off Thor. We can definitely do that this turn. Let's go. Okay. In fact, that might be overkill. No, I can't risk it. He's he's too close. Okay, okay. We got there. 
Then we'll use a um another sacrifice of clay to guarantee the kill. Man didn't guarantee it because we could have missed, but you know what I'm trying to say. Heal up with a Soma on Iden, and I think we got there. Holy crud. We delayed the inevitable <laughs> just a little bit. And to make matters even better, I can use a charge gem here and guarantee max damage uh, next turn, assuming we can get off the golden apple. He'll bring back Jack Frost, but it's not the end of the world. Assume. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped my controller. That would have been bad. Holy crap, guys, are we gonna do it or not? I don't know! I'm so pumped. This is one heck of a way to go. I, uh, I think we can end it this turn. And if not, then, uh, yeah, that'd be bad. Zeus is kind of in danger, and he went for Zeus. I gotta stop jinxing myself, bro. God dang. Okay. Critical. Up. Just to guarantee max press turns. Am I gonna do it on my second attempt, please? I wanna be done with this. I mean, I don't wanna say goodbye to SMT5, but holy crap. This fight's been giving me trouble. Okay. Golden Apple will not uh get our attack up by any means, but it's not bad either. As we just try and finish off Demi Fiend, this will not kill. Oh, we can do it. Oh my god. Yeah, we got there. We got there. Kurnunos. Will it will it connect? Should I even risk it? It could miss. That's what I'm most afraid of. Let's not go for it. Let's instead um just skip twice. Go for the Demi Fiend with Murakumo. And I think we win, dude. We'll get the attack increase. And if this Murakumo doesn't do it, Kurnunos will. I think we just beat the ultimate boss of SMT5. No, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was close! The Kurninos will connect. And that's curtain call. Holy crud, dude. <sighs> yeah, easy peasy. We'll receive Demi Fiend's essence as a reward and proof of beating him to follow soon after. Check out that Maka reward. Not bad. Fusing up the rest of the compendium should be pretty easy now. As everyone gets 666 uh, EXP. Okay. You. Thanks. The final menorah, which Demi Fiend acquired in his journey, and the fiendish sash, proving that we defeated him. God. And that's it, everybody. That's the secret boss. You can talk to him again if you'd like a rematch, but... Uh... Well then, best of luck with whatever it is you're trying to do. I'm gonna stay here for a while. So come on back if you ever want to see me, okay? Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. I am... Oh, I'm so glad to be done with that, but the King Demi Fiend is no more. And just to confirm, this was done on the hardest difficulty. Holy crap, I am... Yeah, I played probably pretty poorly, but hey, we did it in the end. As a reward, you receive Demi Fiend's Essence, which similar to the Matsukoto Magatama, nullifies everything in the game. Only Almighty and Pierce skills can attack you. But that's not all. Once you beat him, you obtain his signature skills. Okay, Fry Kugel's a pretty common attack, but Gaia Rage, Javelin Rain, Deadly Fury, and Chaotic Will are now yours to use. And we will showcase those unique animations shortly, but there is in fact another way to defeat Demi Fiend. It involves a very specific setup that I just happen to have. So, we'll be right back as I load up my second save file an attempt to defeat Demi Fiend in just three turns. So that last strategy involves, well, some clever use of our press turns and a lot of critical thinking. What if you could defeat Demi Fiend with just sheer luck? Well, introducing my other party for this fight. First things first, we have Shiva here who will cast Dandava on the first turn, capping out the enemy's defense down. We'll then swap him out for Cleopatra, who has Repel Physical and Luster Candy. We do this because when you swap in a new demon, Demi Fiend is hard-coded to just focus down that next foe. Next, on Lu Guru, we bring in here because we need a Beast Demon for Omogatsuki Adversity. We'll use Impaler's Animus while we'll she's on Miss Festo. He's not necessarily required, but since he has innate Repel Physical, uh, yeah, just free up a slot, we could use a Agility Boosting Attack. Demi Fiend will waste his entire turn by hitting himself. Then we can get Cleopatra out of here for our last demon, which is, well, Odin. He's got pretty good physical damage groups. And he also starts with Figment Slash, meaning he's pretty easy to fuse. We're going to set up now for our kill turn, which is next turn, by trying to sleep as many of Demi Fiend's other demons. We hit none of them. 
God dang it. This is where the RNG comes into play. We're also going to use Lugaru's turn to apply an attack mirror to our main character. And yeah, all around, we are intentionally trying to get hit with Gaia Rage. Every demon I have with me right now not only has Enduring Soul, but also Endure. The Enduring Soul proc, and then the Endure, leaving everyone at ideally 1 HP. He will then cast Omogatsuki Adversity, and as you can imagine, if every Figment Slash hits, which has a 50% chance to fail and a 50% chance to hit, we will basically beat Demifiend in a single turn. This is not my strategy, by the way. I will link the original video in the description, but the sheer fact you could do something like this in SMT5 is just a testament of how crazy the just combat system really is. The full ability to customize your demons. But here comes the second one. Oh, no! He intentionally... Uh, Hit us all, down to 1 HP. That move can crit, by the way, so there's a lot of things that can go wrong here. We'll set up our final Luster Candy, maximizing our attack for the rest of our party. Problem is, yeah, we don't have maximum uh, ability to hit, which, yeah. Hope you grinded a couple of agility incenses, because this is really RNG. But assuming every single demon you have can do 1,500 damage, you win. It is possible to do this in just three turns. So if you're really struggling, uh, you could do this, but it takes a lot of soft resets. This is post-commentary. I already know I, like, succeed, but assuming your Odin connects, that's the fight. Wow, he did, he did barely anything. Huh, that was a lot closer than I thought. But yeah, that is the quick kill for Demi Fiend. It's not really quick, because you still need a lot of uh, investment, but it's mostly just, you know, everyone has no fizz, the physical boosts in. Yeah, that's it. Wow. <laughs> it's uh, pretty rough. Still just the same. We'll obtain the Essence and the Fiendish Sash. Now, let's see what our reward actually yields as you get some bonus dialogue. And just to confirm, yeah, did this on the hardest difficulty. As if the damage numbers wouldn't already tell you that. With this attempt also cleared, I'd say this is a pretty convincing victory. So let's return to the Word of Shadows one last time. And see what we get when we reunite all the Minoris. Astounding. I sense an entirely new power within you. One I have never sensed before. I am certain this is why the menorah found its way into your hands. Now, Nahobino, use this newfound power and make for the throne. This world can place nothing more between you and your ambition. Abide by the great will and create a new world. After defeating Demifiend, we'll get some choice words from Sophia congratulating us, but now we can finally see what this essence can do. It does kind of suck. You have to choose between completely nullifying everything or his exclusive skills, but eh, can have the best of both worlds. Real quick, we're just going to pass on the ones that are actually unique. So Deadly Fury, Gaia's Rage, Javelin Rain, and Chaotic Will. Let's check these out, shall we? Alright, let's see what this essence can do against some random demons here in Taito. The damage will be a little inflated because we just got our defense boosted, but here comes Deadly Fury. Medium attack always crits, meaning you get more press turns, and it's a one-shot. Wow, that's really not surprising. Let's uh, skip to the Nahobino again, and now see Javelin Rain. Also looks pretty cool. The uh, definitely stronger of the two, but neither a unique animation. Instead, to see those, we'll have to use Gaia Rage, which costs a lot of MP, but does a lot of damage. I imagine New Game Plus just spamming this skill over and over again as you completely destroy everything. It's got to be a lot of fun. And last but certainly not least, with Chaotic Will, you have the chance to, well, instantly kill your opponent and also stop their counterattack. This also comes with a custom animation for the Nahobino, and what can I say? It's pretty darn great. But will we get the guaranteed insta-kill? We got it on everyone! How about that? And with that, we're just about done. There's not much left to do here in Dot. And with that, we're just about done. Thank you all so much for checking out this video and letting me be a part of your day. I 
love this series so much. Shin Megami Tensei 5 was just such a fun game to play, and this video series was just honestly so fun to make. I hope you'll let me uh, entertain you again sometime. But with that, we're absolutely done. See you guys next time. Bye.